Hi, today we're going to make avocado toast. We have uh, organic avocado. We have chili flakes. We didn't have lemon, so we have lemon juice. We're using lemon juice. We're going to have olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, some basil leaves that we grew at home, some cherry tomatoes that we got, some chilies, uh, pepper in a grinder, so it's freshly ground pepper, some salt, and obviously uh, bread. This is not white bread. This is uh, uh, bread from Namdharis. Slice your bread uh, as thick as you want it and then go ahead and uh, toast it. So once you toast it, it's good to grow. It will be crunchy and nicely toasted. The smell is much better, the fragrance, the aroma of toasted bread. So you go ahead and toast it. And then in the meanwhile, we'll have to cut avocado to start the whole process. So you cut the avocado and pit it. So she's going to explain to you how the way she cut it. Yeah, so you cut it in half like this and then you can again cut it this way and handle it with care and love. <laughs> so now you have to take it and peel it off like this. So if it is well uh, ripened, uh, then it will come off nicely like this very neatly and uh, don't mash it you can just um, you know put it on top of the bread she is following what Gordon Ramsay suggested so she's not going to mash the guac uh, the avocado she's going to thinly slice it and put it on the toasted bread directly see what that looks like yes. now the sauce uh, or the whatever it's called for the thing so uh, some two tablespoons or how much how many tablespoons of olive oil uh, well, um, two based on how much how many breads are you making so i have put like one and a half uh, tablespoons and then if you have lemon you make, uh, you also put uh, the uh, zest and uh, here since we don't have the lemon, I'm just adding only the lemon juice. How much? Uh, just a half uh, tablespoon because it, since it's a juice and a preserve, it might be a little strong. And we also add freshly some ground. freshly ground uh, pepper. Then you can go ahead and add some red chili flakes. So, mm -hmm. yes, you add some red chili flakes. What about the green chili? Green chilies, yes. I'll add some green chilies too. So, you can take some green chilies and you can pit it. If you're, if you're not too found of very spicy stuff you can pit yeah. it um, otherwise i like it so let mine remain there don't cut it out okay because we also added pepper and uh, red chili matter, that's okay. all right yeah anyway and cut it finely chopped yes To take some basil leaves. Oh, excuse me. It's the pepper. You also mm -hmm. take the basil leaves. Finely cut basil leaves. Yes, and uh, chop it very finely. Does that does it also go into the sauce? Yeah. Or you can directly sprinkle on top of it. Let's put it in the sauce. Yeah. Yes, so that goes in. And uh, you also need, you can add some sesame seeds. I don't know where, whether we have it. So I need to search for it. Let's leave it for now. Yeah, so I'm going to skip it. So this is it. Why don't you add some more oil? Yeah, I'll add some more oil. So 
some oil to it and also add some salt salt to taste very little salt See how this the thing looks. Yes, mm, this wow. looks very looks nice. Go ahead, let's. Yes, so then we put it on top like this. You can be, because there is uh, lemon in it the avocado avocados won't turn black so you can add immediately after this is ready so it will remain fresh there you go fresh avocado toast <laughs>